Kohata, Kamut Squash one of Tina Dog Cook, Peace Palatina, Chief Wayne Christian of Splatsin. I'm going to give a wildfire update for August 13th, 2021. Uh, we still are under evacuation alert, has been extended, and specifically in the Salmon River IR number one, upper and lower. And that will continue uh, based on the recommendations of our emergency operations center. Uh, currently, you'll probably notice that the, there's a lot of smoke today in the area and uh, the winds have shifted and uh, that is a concern in relation to this fire, the White Rock Lake fire specifically. And so we're expecting uh, wind uh, and weather activity over the weekend and so we're just uh, monitoring the situation as it evolves. So just so you know, you know, uh, just, just watch what's happening. Uh, it's a good indicator if there's no smoke here then the winds have shifted and gone south. If there's smoke here the winds are coming up the valley from the fire towards us. It's a real good indicator to understand what's happening, just basics. Uh, also the air quality right now is really poor. Those of you with health conditions stay inside. I know air purifiers were provided. Uh, I'm not sure if all the people got them but I think that that's something if you haven't uh, have an air purifier in your house contact the health center. Evacuation plan for uh, Salmon River Indian Reserve number one. Uh, we've posted a new evacuation plan on the website uh, under spellatine.ca slash emergencies and this will be uh, delivered door to door in the coming days as well so people will know that uh, what is the actual evacuation plan. And again it's to be used in the event of an evacuation order. So. We're preparing, if something happens, we have a process and a plan for people. So just understand that. I want to reiterate and re, uh, reaffirm the definitions for evacuations because I think people get concerned and you need to have the facts. Don't spread rumors, just go from the facts that are on our website and the information. So the evacuation alert, which the uh, Salmon River Indian Reserve upper and lower is on, is people need to be prepared and monitor updates at splatsing.ca. You need to have a grab and go kit that was sent out earlier, things that you would need, your medication, all of those types of things that you would need if you have to go. Uh, and I think have that ready. Uh, fire smart around your house if you can and all of those things. And I know we've done some assessments to our fire crew as to some things that you can move away, you know, from, from your house and you know, I know that <clears throat> as an example, uh, my sons have been working with me. We're getting rid of the old vehicles on our property, that kind of stuff, because that's a fire hazard because of all the things that are underneath us. So we're just doing different things. People need to, again, help yourself uh, so we can help you if something happens. Arrange for temporary housing with family or friends. Uh, know your evacuation plan. You need to have an evacuation plan. If you don't have one, you should have one in place for yourself. Where are you going to go and how are you going to get there? And if there is an evacuation order, you need to leave immediately. And you go to the community center here uh, so we can account for you and know where you are and that you're safe. Even if you've made your own arrangements, we still need to know. We need you to check in with us here so we know where you're going. We have contact information for you. We can keep you in the loop of things. It's really important. A big part of uh, what's happened and will happen is we're going to need volunteers as this thing it keeps going like the whole summer we'll probably be in, in a state of emergency around the wildfires because we, as the last update we gave there's fires all around us in Sycamore, Sycamore and over in Mabel Lake. We've got them uh, you know, up towards uh, you know, uh, Seymour Arm, we have them over in Momich Lake up near just all around us. We have to be really mindful that uh, we're going to probably need as things move on volunteers. So part of our emergency operations center's mandate is to coordinate internal and external resources including volunteers. In the event of evacuation order we will need people, volunteer support in the following areas. Uh, caterers, uh, janitors, reception and registration, security, delivery of evacuation notice and community liaison. So those are the areas if you, you're wanting to volunteer again caterers, janitors, reception and registration, security, 
delivery of evacuation notices and community liaison. If you are interested in volunteering for this important community initiative, call or visit our administration reception at 250-838-6496 or the email is reception at floodscene.ca. So again, if you want to volunteer, contact administration, the band administrate, uh, administration receptionist, uh, reception at spellacine.ca is the email, and 8250-838-6496. So stru structure protection. Uh, we've been, uh, the structure uh, protection crews have completed assessments on each home in the Salmon River Indian Reserve earlier, like upper and lower, because that's, again, where the fire comes, will probably either come over that mountain or come from Falcon, but it looks more like it may come from the south. So we just need to understand that that then will put in place the crews will be on standby to assist if needed in terms of structural support. The public alert system. You know, be first to know about emergency situations in our community. You can download the app or register for text, voice messages, or email alerts before August 15th and be entered to win one of four prizes valued at over $900. Uh, register at sploodscene.ca slash emergencies or call band reception for assistance. And the alert system is really designed for your use. And again, it's really important you understand. I know that some people have it and they've turned it off. And it's not going to do you any good if you turn it off. Because uh, what you're basically then, you're not going to get any of the alerts. And I think if you want to keep up to date, you have to keep it on. And, and I think it's just an important part to get through this whole process. Uh, so keep... If you have the, the uh, uh, public assistant alert system, keep the system on. Don't turn up the notifications off because uh, that doesn't help you because you won't get notified. We're monitoring our, the updates of the, uh, the BC Wilds Fire Service and the Emergency BC Daily. And we publish these daily. I think this one was uh, sent out yesterday. Update number 12, it gives all the fires and that actually is on our website and uh, it started to be shared to our social media sites. So you'll get an update on not only the White Rock fire, you'll get the update on Sikhamaus, the Bunting Creek or Maple Lake and all of those fires you'll see what's going on. And it's really important uh, because I know they're in the territory and people are wondering what's going on with them and that's what we're doing. We're giving an update based on what's going on in the BC Wild Wildfire Services. Uh, critical information is shared on our public alert system and sent via email. So again, critical information will send out in the public alert system and we'll send it out via email if you've signed up for that, that process. So just understand that, uh, you know, the, the state we're in, the state of emergency and the whole, you know, as we say, climate change, people say, well, is it real? Yes, it is. It's here. And we need to understand the resiliency of our people over the time and how we have to have been able to look after ourselves and really do what we need to do. I think and that's what's important with this whole process. The other reminder is COVID. You know, we, uh, we sent out on the, uh, our uh, public alert system, there's a case in the community, you know, isolation has happened, contact tracing is in place. You have to be mindful that you need vaccination. And I know a, a lot of you young people out there, and I'm asking my nieces and nephews that are younger, get vaccinated because it's that group that's being impacted the most, that age group from 20 to 30. So get vaccinated. I know you have all these conspiracy theories that are going on. Uh, I think you need to look at the science because I think that some of the things that are being said are totally untrue, and I think you have to really understand that it's a process uh, Vaccination will save you, will save you from getting COVID, but also will uh, ensure that uh, you live because uh, that's what's happening with these young people that are getting COVID, they're passing away. So young people, get vaccinated. You know, there's different clinics, there's like just coming through Enderby today, there's one here at the, uh, the different clinics that pop up different places. So I advise you get vaccinated. And uh, the rest of you that are vaccinated, encourage your family to get vaccinated because it will save lives, it will save your family. And again, a reminder, COVID is still with us. The hot spot in, in uh, British Columbia is Kelowna. 
and I think that uh, that's just I think a lot of people go there, shop there, go see movies there. So you got to pay attention to wearing a mask, wearing a mask in public areas, you know, washing your hands and keeping six feet away from people you don't know. Just simple, basic safety processes for yourself. So again, a reminder: COVID, 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 COVID. Until this is actually done, we will continue to issue these warnings and continue to ask you to be vaccinated. So again, I thank you for your time today and uh, pass the message out to your family. There are people that are not on social media. There are people that don't have cell phones. Give them a call and ask them how they're doing and pass the information on to them. And we'll begin issuing this stuff and uh, out to the community vis-a-vis -vis the uh, notices that go out to the homes as well. So again, thank you for your time today. And be safe, look after yourself, look after your family, and uh, let's, yeah, let's just keep moving ahead. Hook